Hello and welcome to another lesson on Wellcode. I'm Bianca, I'm one of the founders of Wellcode and today I'm going to show you how to read data from the users and how to test your program so that before you send them on the platform to be evaluated you can find out by yourself if the program is correct and learn something from it. So uh, let's get started. If you've ever experienced sending us some source code on Wellcode to be evaluated and then you didn't, didn't get 100 points and you didn't know why, that's normal, that sometimes happens because you didn't test your programs well and in the end I'm going to talk about this, so watch till the end to find out why some programs don't get evaluated to maximum score on Wellcode. If you're watching this video on YouTube, don't forget to go on wellcode.com, create an account if you don't have one already and then start learning. It's very important that you don't get discouraged, it doesn't matter if you don't have any prior experience, we've designed the platform especially for you, so go on wellcode.com right now and start learning. So I just opened the text editor and I have this program that only prints a message on the screen, this is a basic problem program that is open when you create a pro project and if I hit run then the message is printed. So let's say instead of this problem that just prints a message, I have this following problem. Uh, you're given a number from the user and you're supposed to print its double on the screen. So uh, I'll write this in a message. You're given a natural number n, print 2 times n. Okay, so this seems to be an easy problem. All I have to do is read the number and as you saw in the previous lesson I can read the number by first declaring it. Let's remove this instruction that we don't need anymore. So I have to first declare it as an integer and then read it with scene n and then print out its double. This is easy, I can use c out 2 times n. Okay, I have a space here, oops, <laughs> space here. Okay, so now if I run it, um, it will wait for me to input a number, let's say 13, and if I hit enter, I'll get the desired output 26. Okay, let's test it again. Hit at F5 and then input, let's say, 89. Okay, this seems to be correct. So, um, what happened here? When I run the program, it waits for me to input something. It, it won't go to the next instruction, which is C out until I have, until I have, um, typed the number here and hit enter. Okay, now reading a number was easy, let's try reading two numbers. I can read two numbers and print out their product since we're using 2 times n. Okay, so two natural numbers n and m and m print m times n. Okay. So now I have to read two numbers. So instead of just reading n, uh, they're probably given in this order. It's usually specified. And then I have to replace this with m times n. <laughs> now if I run it, oops, I haven't declared m. Okay, that's a good point. m, now run it. <laughs> okay, now I can input both numbers. How do I do it? If I input like this, um, 1 and 2 is not going to work since it's one number, so I have to put either a space or an enter between them. 12, 20, 34, okay, it's probably correct, but I have to give a smaller number so I can actually test it. Let's give 4 and 5, it's 20, okay. After I finished entering all the numbers that I need, I have to press enter so that I signal that I'm done with the input. And I can also enter the number separated by new lines, so for example, 6, new line, 8. It's 48, it's correct. Okay, so don't forget to hit the enter key after you've entered all the numbers in the input. In this case, I can enter n and m separated by spaces or by enter, but at the end I have to uh, hit enter. So you probably noticed that after typing both numbers, I have to hit enter key. If I don't hit the enter key, it will just wait for more numbers to be input, so I have to say now that I'm done with the input hit enter and the program will continue execution. Let's say I want to solve a problem on Wellcode and I've written the code, I've tested it in the IDE that I'm using and now I want to submit it. I have to copy the code and then paste it on the platform in the designated area and submit. What happens if I get zero points? Well, 
uh, it means that none of the examples were actually correct. So maybe even if you tested it, the program doesn't exactly print what's required. If you're required to print two numbers and you print something else, even if it includes the two numbers, but it has some additional messages, it's not going to be correct. Or if you don't print both numbers, but you only print one, it's not correct either. So you have to be really careful about what you're printing. Let's say you don't get zero points, but you get less points than you're expecting. That means that you probably missed some cases and you need to test your program on edge cases. For example, let's say you are given a number from zero to 10 and you have to print something depending on the value of the number. Maybe you didn't test for zero or for 10, which are the edge cases. Or maybe there are some particular cases that you didn't cover in your tests. So make sure you cover all examples. <laughs> Thank you for watching till the end and if you're just learning to code on Wellcode, I encourage you to go through all the lessons, all the problems and if at any point you get stuck, don't get discouraged, ask a question in the comment section. We have an incredible community that will support you. Also encourage the others to keep going and you'll become a much better programmer by training all those skills that you, they're gonna see for turn. So good luck and I hope you see you on Wellcode.